Apple has just released the developer beta for iOS 17 and macOS Sonoma and we are seeing some very cool features added to the native Apple apps. One of the new features that has caught our eye is the new columns view in the Apple Reminders app. Using this view, now you can create a working Kanban board in your Apple Reminders to manage your tasks. If you don't know what is Kanban, it's basically a visual system that is used to manage and keep track of work as it moves through a process. A basic Kanban board consists of columns denoting different stages of workflow and cards representing individual tasks. For example, here's a basic Kanban board. In this, we have three columns to do, doing and done. Once we start working on a task, we can move it to the doing column. And when it's done, we can move it to the done column. This gives us an easy way to track the progress of our task. It's also a very good visual representation. You can see at a glance what tasks are pending, what you have done and what you are working on. Now you can use the same Kanban feature in Apple Reminders app. To use that, first let's launch Reminders. Now we will add a new list. Now for Kanban board, we need columns and tasks. For columns, we will use section headers which is a new feature that has been released with the iOS 17 and macOS Sonoma. To add sections, there are multiple ways. The first one is to go to the edit menu, go to manage section and create add section. The second method is to use a simple keyboard shortcut command option N that will give you your another section. Finally, you can use the third method which is right click and choose add section. As you can see, we have added three sections to our list. So let's now add some tasks. You can also add date if you want, time or add some notes to it. As you can see, now we have added sections and our tasks. Right now it looks a bit jumbled and it's hard to track. That's where Kanban view can help us. To view your task in a list in a Kanban view, just go to the view menu and choose as columns option. Now see how the tasks are represented in a very beautiful Kanban way. If you want to work on a task, you can just click and drag it to the doing section to represent you are working on it. Similarly, you can drag it to the done section when you are done with the task. You can add new task from here only using the new task button. Once you are done, you can mark the task as done and it will go away. If you want to see your done task, just click here on the show button and it will appear. Now, you might be confused about this other section. This will host all the tasks that are not added to any of these three sections in your reminder list. For example, if you go back to view and as list and if you add any task here, As you can see, this task is not in any of our sections. So when we go and view as columns, it will appear in the other section. I do wish that this section was removable, but for now we are stuck with this. What do you think about this new Kanban view in the Mac? We think it's very good and it will help people manage their task freely. You can also use this view on your iPhone, but it works better on a big screen like iPad and Mac. Let us know your thoughts on this new feature in the comments and we'll see you in the next one.